Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle reporting from Public Test Server and today some bad news for Railway Rifle users. It is receiving a full rework. Yes, it is a rework, so some new unique use cases may be found, but I'm not gonna lie. Overall, it is a nerf because the most powerful part of the use case, which is VATS for Railway Rifle is severely affected. As you can probably already notice, that's my Gadrol railway rifle I was using a lot on the live game version. Now, what has happened? Look at the fire rate. The fire rate is now 48 for automatic piston receiver. It was halved. It was twice as high, it was 90. Now it's 48, much less. Additionally, there is some work and rework being done with legendary effects what indirectly will affect railway rifle as you can see the reload speed penalty is added to quad legendary effect that's new so that's maybe not direct nerf to railway itself but to all quad weapons therefore yeah all quad weapons reload slower and that's that's a big deal may not seem like much but uh, let me show you i have character of course with a speed demon mutation i do run on this commando build ground pounder max out and look the reload it feels like a slow motion compared to what i have on live okay let me try to count okay i, I fire reload one two three four Almost four seconds. So that's incredible. Nerf. Alone. Just the reload. Then the fire rate is going down. That are two implications to the fire rate. Let's take it to the weapon workbench. There are two effects. It's not only that it fires slower, but I will probably need to find one with faster fire rate. But yeah. What else is changing? The good news is, like, if you want to use it on your rifleman build the ap cost is now the same regardless if it's automatic piston receiver or the single shot so ap cost overall was reduced by quite a lot but the ap cost additional reduction from automatic piston receiver was removed therefore automatic version went from i think it was 6 to 13 so more than doubled and Single shot is like half what it was, so yeah, way better for single shot, but much worse for automatic. And the fire rate difference is no longer such huge. You may see that damage shows smaller in that case, but that's only because I'm running commando perks. If I would have rifleman perks, the prime receiver is more damage overall than automatic. Additional change, and the reason I'm using recoil compensating stock now is that overall recoil of this weapon was greatly reduced so it is possible to use it even outside of vats which is very good about the other options it's remained the same now if you didn't notice before let me just shoot straight you see that i can control the recoil i can shoot it it does shoot much slower as you can notice yeah, that's much slower shooting, but you can control the recoil, so that's something. There is, there is one more news that is an indirect nerf to this weapon. It changes to VAT's behavior versus bosses. I don't have a boss ready here to really show the difference, but it is significant. What is happening, if you are not aware, all the endgame bosses if this is the from Nuka World, the Titan, or if those are the three new robots, or if we're talking about Scorch Beast Queen, or if you are talking about Mononga Mine and Mr. Air, they do have damage reduction. In case of Mr. Air, it's 80%, and currently on live game version, VATS Criticals completely bypass this damage reduction. And on public test server, they do not anymore. You cannot bypass bosses damage reduction, 
which is overall nerf to all VATS use cases. Now let's shoot some enemies so you see how it performs. A tough enemies. Scourge Beast, regular Scourged. The implication of fire rate, what I wanted to say. Like, you know how I like to use it. I open with criticals and fire two spikes to recharge my critical straight away to fire next one. And quite often it does still work the same, but there are situations when it will fail and I will not get the recharge straight away. So that's additional nerf related to f slower fire rate. It doesn't always work. If enemies are relatively far away... Oh, now I didn't recharge, so that was one case. And that's me killing a Scourge Beast. She would be dead twice as fast previously with the same railway and the same commando build. So it is definitely less damage. I would not say it's useless. It's still a very powerful weapon. And what you can do and you couldn't previously is use it without VATS. Okay, there are some enemies over there. Let me show you. Now I shoot them without using the VATS. Of course, VATS is still recommended approach, but now without using the VATS, I can. I can hip fire at them. I can relatively easily control it. The smoke covers half of the screen though, but yeah. So you're able to see, I can easily control it. I can get my spikes back. I can kill them without that, so there is something good about those changes, but overall majority of those changes have been done to put Railway out of the king position, of the best weapon to kill bosses. I don't think it is anymore, after the updates will go live, the best weapon to kill bosses. About the question when? Uh, we don't know the date yet when those changes will all come into effect. Most likely with next season, so approximately two months. So that is the most likely scenario. They all subject to change, so as always Bethesda is taking the feedback. Although taking into consideration that currently Railway is number one boss killer, I don't think they will roll it back. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. I uh, I would let at least like this uh, reload speed penalty removal. I don't think it's necessary. Like the point of the quad is to shoot more, not to to shoot <laughs> a little bit more. To shoot much more. You are trading ammo expenditure for more DPS. That's the point. If I need to reload for more time, that undermines some of the quad effect. In the same time, weapons from the latest DLC that go with double ammo capacity will be indirectly buffed compared to quad as they do not have the reload speed penalty. Unless not yet, so hopefully that will not be added. So at least double weapon, maybe, will be better in that case scenario as you would not have penalty and still double ammo capacity. Now the question to you is, what do you think? Is that justified? Do you agree with the changes to Railway Rifle? You are against it. I know that you are definitely not happy if you are main user of the Railway Rifle, but if you try to be honest, do you think the position that Railway Rifle is after this rework is good or wrong? Like if you would be responsible for balancing the game and weapons, would you do that or something else? That's the question, I guess. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching, and see you all in the next one.